Hello, my name is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at QuoteWorks. This video will expand on the Microsoft Word Merging functionality found in QuoteWorks. We have several other Word Merging introduction videos on our website. Microsoft Word documents can be used on both the Deliver window and on the Links tab of the Quote Workbook. If your goal is to deliver one and done documents, meaning you just want to use the template, merge fields from the QuoteWorks document, and send it to the customer without editing it, the word merging from the deliver window will work perfectly. If you need to continue to edit your document as you are working on it, adding scope of work information, or making multiple revisions of your document, then you will want to use the links tab. This will enable you to continue to make changes to the word document and make copies of the document to merge. There are benefits of using both. This video will focus on using the links tab with Microsoft Word documents to deliver professional documents to your customers. You will probably want to start from a template each time. To add a Word document to the linked file from template dropdown, you will add your file into the QuoteWorks Resources Templates folder. If you need to edit the template to use in the future, you will just edit the file from the Templates folder and not from the Links tab in QuoteWorks. To use the template, just select it from the New button. You will have three options when using the Word document on the Links tab. The first option is to have the Deliver window merge the macros for you, and the remaining two enable you to see the merged macros in your quote or proposal from the Links tab. The right-click Merge Word Document option will essentially do what the Deliver button does by just merging the macros in the Word document. Something to keep in mind with this option is that once you merge a Word document, you cannot re-merge it with information from QuoteWorks, so this is not what you will use if you want to continue to edit your proposal. Instead, you will choose Save a New Copy and Merge Word Document. This will make a copy of your Word document and merge the macros into it. If you will be making changes and updating your Word proposal, this is the option that you will choose. Now let's apply this information by starting with the sample MSP Word proposal that is included with the demo of QuoteWorks. First, we will make a copy of the file and place it in the Resources Templates folder. It will now appear in the New from Template dropdown on the Links tab. To edit this template, I am going to just double-click on the Word document in my Explorer window. The MSP Word proposal is a good boilerplate to start from. The main issue is that it puts all of the line item detail in one place. This makes it easy for a new QuoteWorks user to use this sample template. But the power of using word merging, however, is that you can create categorized sections on different pages with totals and summaries from your line items. For our example today, let's create three categorized sections on our proposal. Hardware, Managed Services, and Just Services. QuoteWorks enables you to create different sections in your Word document by item type or any of the custom text fields. I will be using the item type, but you can apply these same concepts for Custom Text 01 through Custom Text 20. My Hardware has an item type of Hardware, my Managed Services have an item type of Cloud, and my Services have an item type of Services. Line items require a begin and an end section. We will start by copying and pasting the existing solution summary. Now I will change the begin.items to begin.itemType.hardware. This will start the items section. Next, to close the items section, I will rename the end.items to end.itemType.hardware. When working with tables, you will want to have your begin clause at the beginning of the row and the end clause at the end of the closed row, which is typically outside the table. QuoteWorks will then essentially copy and paste each row and then apply the replace on the macros. You do not need to use tables when displaying your items, however. You can also display them as a bulleted list, plain text, etc. I now have the ability to control what will be in this items section. I do want the description, so I will need to append itemType.hardware before ampersand di underscore description. This notifies QuoteWorks that this description is for the hardware item type section. I can add additional fields like custom memo 01 by adding the section prefix to the document items field name. In this case, making it itemType.hardware.ampersand 
di underscore custom memo 01. In my quote works, extended marketing descriptions retrieved from the product content subscription are placed in this field. I will then repeat that process for the other two sections by just changing the item type in each and including the document items fields that are appropriate for each section. To add section totals, you just need to add a totals macro. You can insert this macro anywhere in the document, but you will need to make sure you have a begin and an end section for the item type or custom text designator. At this point, we can scroll through the document and see some of the other macros we already have in the document. Now that we are done editing the template, we can save, close it, and use it to create our proposal. I already have a document open in QuoteWorks with hardware, manage services, and services on it. Let's use the template we just created to create a professional looking proposal for our customer. To start, we just click on the New Linked File Using Template button drop down and select our template. Then, we will right click on the template and select Save New Copy and Merge Word Document option. This will enable us to see what the merge document will look like while still enabling us to make changes to the original Word document. This looks good, but we still need to add our scope of work, so I just need to edit the original Word document. Now, let's use Quote Valet to deliver the proposal to my client. I'm going to select None for my layout and select my unmerged Word document on the Links tab. I could still select Literature and Spec Sheets if I needed to. Instead of clicking on Email, I will choose Upload to Quote Valet. This will then merge my macros and generate the PDF. I can view the PDF by selecting the View PDF File button. I can use the standard customer facing template which would show the customer just the line items. Or I can use the inline PDF option which will actually display the embedded PDF proposal instead of the typical quote valet format. Obviously if you choose this option you will want to customize the acceptance at the end of your word template to fit this quote valet format. As you have seen, using Word templates in QuoteWorks is one of the many powerful tools you have to create flexible, content-rich quotes and proposals to help you close the sale. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions about this functionality or any other questions about QuoteWorks, please feel free to give us a call at 407-248-1481.